Oh god. What's that? Oh my god, who are you? Is this a boss? Defeat his crew. Hey, what's going on guys? Grumpy Panda here. We're back again with some more control. Now we're doing a playthrough for this game and we last left off in a area where we just cleansed a portal. Uh, I think it's called a control portal maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, so we just cleansed it, which allows us to get another area for us to fast travel from and to, which is really cool. So we can essentially go all over this building. This building again uh is called the old building i think still kind of getting down the terminology with the game uh so a lot has been taken in in the first little bit of game i've been playing so uh we're on a mission right now and the way it works is you explore this building from what i gather at least and um so right now we have a mission and we're trying to at the moment find a object of power which was told to wheels instructed by a lady named M emily i don't know if she, she's not our boss technically we're the boss we're the director uh which is a crazy story how we became that in the first place but regardless we are the director and so we are looking for signs of the hiss which is a abstract and a corrupt entity it seems like and so uh, we just gained the ability right here. It kind of filled in. We on our way to the hotline, we gained the ability to do a launch, which is another form of object of power. We found a floppy disk. So anything that is like kind of retro like, like a rotary telephone or stuff like that is going to be like an object of power or a symbolism of object of power is what it seems like. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to continue on with our mission and uh, playthrough. Here we go. I don't think we're going to go ahead and use the we're right here beside the area we need to be anyway. So we won't use the uh, fast travel. You got to go to the communications department. The oldest house. I'm sorry. That's what the name was. The oldest house. And so wait, I was wanting to read that. Yeah, we actually found uh, the the former director Trench Zachariah Trench shot dead, and he was shot dead because he was he killed himself essentially. But it was a, it was actually more than what it seems. He was trying to gain power. I think you have to basically do that in order to get the abilities, I guess. And so, I, my only question was, how did he become the director without doing that in the first place? Because uh, I thought that's something you had to do in order to be in this building. In the, because this building is secretive. It's, it, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of stuff you have to pay attention to in this game. But I digress. We do have a key card that we just collected last video. So clearance level one. Let's see if this will open it up. I bet it will. Actually, I know it will because we found a few of those. We need to go back and look and find. It's going to be hard for us because unless it makes the game makes us do it, it's going to be quite difficult for us to remember where all those doors were at. Wait. Is that enemies? No. And so, I wish there was a marking system. Oh, you can actually still shoot. That's crazy. So you can still do everything. Like, you can actually leave this up if you wanted to and play the game. We just got the ability to launch it, it, Think of it like Dead Space. Uh, and I forgot what they called it in that game, but it's just like that. Uh, it starts with the S, I think, in that game. Crap, I had the, had the name on my tongue. I just cannot remember it. But it's uh, it's the same, uh, same setup, essentially. Oh, God. What's that? Oh, my God. Who are you? Is this a boss? Defeat his crew. Hmm. 
That hurts. Let's not do that. Oh, wait. Now, this is fun right here. let it charge all the way too no ah where am I getting hit at oh crap that really just happened huh I lost points when I die no okay crap so I was wondering if that could happen and it didn't even shoot forward. It shot from this. It was like your angle is important when you do that. So keep that in mind. And I was wondering if that was going to happen or not. And so you have to like kind of take it from the right angle and not make sure you're enclosed in your spacing. Because like if it's like something that's going to blow up, you're going to die just like I did. Even though what was in front of me was not... Like, I shot it forward, and it hit actually coming from the side, it looked like. All right, so we need to... First, let's look at our uh, assets here, or excuse me, loadout. We, got, we could do... We might go with that, possibly. Uh, what about this? No, we kind of need that. Because getting headshots is actually tough. All right, if I keep dying here, I might just, like, not do it right away. I'm, I'm, I'll just be honest with you. All right, we got to kill him as fast as possible because he is, like... dead already okay so he can I don't like the fact that I don't know why they did this but they made it to where when you do something whether you aim or sh use your uh, launch you have to press the space or you have to press run again like you can't just hold it down and run i don't know why they did that but that annoys me really badly i can't stand it because it makes it to where you have to basically press it twice because i'm holding it down the entire time so just keep i don't know that, that's why i'm like being really slow about it i just got knocked the crap out right there but i, I can't stand that and there's no way for me to change it because I, I did some testing uh early in the game and it's like whatever it's toggle or not toggle you're gonna have to do the same exact thing so i may like i normally i would like hold holding is like the best way for me to play in games like these and i don't have evade yet i just not realized that i don't have a way to evade so maybe i don't need to do this yet guys i feel like that i'm kind of under equipped evading is kind of important i feel like so maybe i'll i'll pass for now Cause I'm losing points and I don't like that. I may try. Well, I don't know. I didn't even come close right there. What am I saying? Like I got kind of whooped. There's a, there's a way of doing it. I'm sure. Um, so I have toggle on and that just makes it to where 
Let's see. So that means if you press it right here, it's going to stop. Like, that's me pressing it again. And what this means right here, with it on, all that means is, uh, if you press it again, it's not going to stop. Like, I'm pressing it right now, so it's never going to stop. But you have to press it again to start again. There's that shooting one time like you could be running shoot one time like even if you don't aim and you hit fire you gotta press it again that's stupid i don't like that but just gotta get used to it let me try it the other way and just see but i'm, I'm pretty sure like there is no reason not to actually s continue to run and like so right here like is hold even if I hold it down like I'm doing right now, it still doesn't run. You have to press it again. Like, that's so dumb. I think I am going to have to hold it, though, because it... I don't know. One thing's for sure, I would never go to toggle on or off, because what I'm going to end up doing is... I may keep it on toggle, but... Because you can press as many times you want to. Yeah. Let's just keep it on hold for now and just see how that goes. Or, no. We'll do it for now. Just see. We'll do it one time. I think I lose about 400 each, though. I've already been in there. Let's go upstairs for a second. Oh, there's a shelter here. Which means... Okay, good. Ooh. Whoa, wait. You can actually stop that now? Okay, I was wondering how you stopped the launch in this pressing F. And I just figured that out because I didn't want to destroy my radio thing. I need to evade house memory. So what do you think that is? I guess it's just a radio. I thought it was like a collection or something. I wonder if I could have used that. So you have to wait for it to reload all the way. That's the downside of it being like that. You're listening to America overnight. Mystifying you. Let's just listen to it right here. You're listening to America overnight. Mystifying the airwaves for more than 29 years. Thank you for staying up with us. Ghosts. We've had many callers over the years tell us of hauntings, voices, and other phantasmagorical phenomena. Today, friend of the show, Dr. Quincy Reagan, tells his story. Quincy. Thanks. This is something I experienced recently while staying at the Chili Pines Motel in Macon for last year's Suspicion Con. I was in room 47. The night manager, an avid listener of the program, insisted I take this particular room. Now, the manager explained that years back, the body of a man was discovered under the bed, inside that wooden border that motel beds tend to have. And the body had been there a week, he said. Guests had stayed there, sleeping with the corpse a foot below him. They only found the body when housekeepers complained about the smell. 
hauntings of these are recorded in room four. Damn, it's a long recording. Since. I happily took the room. I fell asleep pretty quick, checking under the bed first, of course. No ghosts visited me, no chilly spots or flickering lights. But when I woke up, I found myself under the bed. Under the it bed. Was dark and stiflingly hot. Luckily, I was able to push the mattress off and crawl out before I suffocated. The night manager was kind enough to find me another room. Oh, there you have it, listeners. What we call ghosts take many forms. Quincy was brave enough to tell his story, and I encourage you to keep calling and writing whenever you encounter something strange. Something you can't explain. <clears throat> Maybe you're seeing colors that we have no name for. Maybe your toaster is possessed. Remember, dear listeners, when no one else believes you, we do. America Overnight, we'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> for more than 29 years. No, stop. I don't want to hear it again. I just feel ill-equipped in order to face that boss or mini boss, whatever you want to call it. So I guess I will try one more time though, because I am right here. That goes all the way around. So this is what? Oh, this is level one too. Okay. Do I need to be? Where am I at? Ah, oh, shoot. Correspondence lockdown. Pay attention now, Bertel. This is the last time I explained this. Internal lockdowns are manually triggered events that lock one or all of the sectors by restricting use of the sector elevator, effectively locking staff in their sector until the emergency is handled. They can only be lifted via direct direct directorial override and maintenance once the director, which is me, is satisfied that the situation is under control. External lockdowns are a bigger deal. Nothing in or out of the whole building is only triggered by a code red contam containment breach based on some complicated system that security and research slot together. It can only be lifted once A, the threat has been neutralized, or B, and B, and B, a high clearance individual gives the system all clear. This process is not the same as directorial overrides to so stop saying so in the documentation. I know it's confusing as hell. I've told Darling a hundred times to change it, but they're adamant it stays the way it is. Honestly, I don't think they even know how to change it at this point. Let's just make sure our staff understand how this mess all works. Okay, Marshall. Marshall. So, do I need to... What's that? Oh. I always think that's something, but all that is is my, uh, my ability. Wait, is that... That's the room right there, isn't it? Yeah. I think that's in there. I don't want to get myself hurt because I need to fight this enemy, so I guess I can't do it right now. Let's see what's right here. It's definitely 
my enemy. Are you kidding me? Crap. I don't know if that's the only way to do it. really look i can just like i think he can just bring off uh literally bricks of wall even though i don't see, like i thought you had to like see something like this to in order to grab it but it looks like you can just grab anything so that's actually really good i don't I, that's a good thing to know because now i could i could just press the button i'm thinking about oh crap i'm thinking about um changing it though because i don't like it I don't like the button being on F or E, I should say, believe it or not. I kind of want it to be, I don't know, maybe when I use Evade, I'll like it better. I just gotta, I guess I gotta find out how to get Evade, because uh, I gotta, I guess, learn it, I'm guessing, because I haven't gotten it yet. Maybe this will be it. Doubt it. Um. Up. Right, let's take a look here so this right here is health wait energy recovery speed health recovery wait i thought i already gotten that before does it show you how many you have? Can you get the same one twice? Because back order. I got to upgrade too, because I would like to have three of these slots if I can. Because right now I'm pretty sure that I've gotten this before. And it's only showing one for some reason. So, but right now I think this is the best one for what I need, at least. Oh wait, rate of fire boost, nice. It works for, it works for grip, is what it says. So this will do, let's just test it out. That's good. I'm not, but I'm not gonna use it because the other one is like body armor damage, you know. So is it really worth it? I don't think so. I think this one's worth it more because you're not gonna get as many headshots. It's hard to get headshots. Like, I keep saying that, but it's true. And plus, I can just pull the trigger faster if I need to. It's not like it does more damage. Yeah, it is kind of slow though, isn't it? Compared to the other one. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, I need to find the way to, wow, this is like actually right here by dead letters. Look at that. Hmm. All right, so I think I'm not ready to fight that boss yet because I lost him already three times and I don't think I'm ready to, to beat him. The main, the main issue is 
the mechanics of this game every time you shoot or launch something you have to press the sprint button twice in order to run which is stupid or you have to wait like or you have to like wait before before pressing it again which because what ends up happening is like I like to just hold down the button right here and just have it held down and but you can't run like that it doesn't work even if you have the button as a control as hold you can't do it does this save it right here guys or is it just for um fast travel did it did it just save right now I actually don't know hmm. we're in the mail room Maybe that did save it. Defeat his corrupted Tomasi. And that's right here. That This is for the mission. Okay, this is actually for the... This is like the end of the mission, I think. Alright, I think I'm going to go back to Toggle. Because it... It's actually... Yeah, this is the best one, actually. I'll just save my pinky from like getting tired, which I'm used to, you know, using my pinky now. But when I first started playing PC games, like this was like having to press shift to, or hold down shift to run was difficult for me at first. We're going to do this one more time. And if I die, I'm not going to do it right now because I just don't think it's worth it. I'm going to keep dying. I need to like upgrade somehow. I don't know if I can upgrade without doing this. We're, we'll find out. So what we need to do is use our launch a lot more and if we get close to them i might do melee my problem is though i don't know how to use launch and hit him so i need to figure out a strategy to hit him with my launch um because he just dodges out of the way which pisses me off uh, so let's just do Okay, that wasn't as hard as I thought it was because everybody's, if you get, okay, that was actually easy, but I'm not done with them yet, am I? Because I had to worry about these guys on the ground. I have a feeling he'll be back. And I'm guessing that they Let's died when I killed them. The hotline should be past the I almost died though. Wow, look at my health though. I just realized I still almost died. Yeesh. So what I think, think what I can do is, is get him to dodge this. Wait. You can't shoot your weapon and do that, unfortunately. I wish he could. So maybe if I get him to dodge and then do it really fast, he can't dodge back to back. That's what I'm thinking. We'll try that next time. Because it's like an ability and maybe he can only do it so often. I wish I could like grab this.
Wait, why did I just get health back? Is it because you get health back no matter how low you are? Like if you get to a certain percentage? I didn't mean to do that. What I wanted to do was grab that body and throw it. So I pressed it twice and it grabbed that and then I threw it. So you can't grab a body apparently. <laughs> that almost killed me. I thought I died actually. Okay. Nose allergies. <laughs> allergies, man. All right, his elevated. His elevated agents, which is probably this guy, display ability similar to telekinetic com competencies observed in Bureau Para. Utilarians. I can't even say these words, I swear. Some prefer to charge the targets while others launch objects at them. Telekinetic attacks have been ineffective against his elevated. Wow, it tells you this after you fight him. I love it. So that's okay though. Because you need to learn as you do. You need to learn, like, you know, trial by fire, so to speak. Have been ineffective against his elevated due to their own talent in this area. They do not use any weaponry except their own paranatural capabilities. Some hiss elevated have been seen levitating while strapped into chairs. This is likely the result of individuals being corrupted while undergoing cognitive recording in parapsychology. Wait, what? Some hiss elevated have been seen levitating while strapped in chairs. Okay, how are they able to use paranatural abilities? It is possible that these individuals were bound to objects of power prior to corruption is also worth considering that the his residents can identify and express latent paranormal abilities in this in the individuals it corrupts wow so kind of got keep that in mind data breach last month our on-site server experienced an intrusion by unauthorized users after a thorough investigation it was confirmed that the users only accessed a video file which contained portions of various dr darlings that's the guy who's been talking in the videos presentations investigators were able to track the users through ip addresses they're following confirmed identities of these users patrick surgeons rubens naguara arto kalamaki Kalu Kalu kalumaki Christopher Mills Bowling, Jocko Zarinin. These individuals are in breach of Bureau Code 91 and have been placed under surveillance by external investigation team. Further action is pending. All right, and we got one more. Tea time. Hey, Malcolm, tea time's at seven. I'll see you at the course. Hey, it might, the world might be like fake and like a matrix world, but we still got golf, thank God. By the way, have you heard about Tennyson Report? Apparently, there's a bunch of copies drifting around the office. Trench is looking to get his hands on any information about who wrote it. You wouldn't happen to have heard anything about that, would you? See you Sunday, Jim. Uh -huh. Cool. What else have we got? I'm not sure why it's like so dark in some areas. It, it's kind of difficult to see things. I thought it'd get better, but it hasn't. We're just gonna look around to make sure that there is no files that we're missing. So, can we go upstairs now and finish what we wanted to do? Or, I wonder if that has anything to do with me beating the boss right here. Let's find out. We'll go upstairs and check it out. Wait, what was that then? 
I'm glad she kind of moves pretty fast though, because it would be kind of difficult to uh Alright, uh, we haven't been through here yet. Or well, hold on. Yeah, we ain't we ain't came out there yet. Right? You're listening to America. No, we have been here. Why was that locked then? As if we hadn't been there. Alright, so let's go through here and see if it... Yeah, I don't know about this red mist, what we can do about it. Like, do you think we can, like, make it? Like, how do you be, how do you get past this red mist? I don't understand it. Maybe if I like... Not sure. These guys again? Wow. See what I mean? That's so fucking annoying. I wonder if you get more points for shooting him in the head. Alright. Yeah, you just gotta like clear the corners and stuff. Oh! the heck got 150 for that if you guys want to keep fighting i'm all for it more points for me but i've already been here so i'm not sure why the enemies respawn you know that's kind of weird actually now that i think about it why would the enemies respawn here? I don't know. Alright, let's... So, what's our... Objective mission again? To find the hotline? Sure. Could that be it right there, you think? Yeah. I was hoping we could get through it. Alright, so that wasn't necessary as far as like having to do it. Did we get what we got though? Like, did I actually And also, do I have to do that again? I actually don't know. Do we lose out on it? That's what I'm asking. So, do we have to fight this guy again, you think? Wait. 
Where is it at? Right here. We'll find out. Nah, you don't. I was worried like you had to though. All right, so what's the next area though? We gotta go to the hotline chain. Okay, I see now. So let's go over here. I lost 600 points though, which is a bummer. I'm thinking that's currency for the game where you gotta upgrade. If I'd guess. Now, what is this place? Alberto Tomasi. 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 Ooh, his ID. Well done, everyone. Strong. Com okay, so where can I get in with this? I wonder. The head of comms. Right, just got him. The situation in Cuba has been evaluated by the relevant authorities. The mysterious illness affecting the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Havana was caused by sonic weaponry in the hands of a foreign... Sonic, the hedgehog? Numerous personnel have damage to the inner ear, but most are expected to make a full recovery. Of course, the event also damaged their cellular walls, but you can't blame that on some stupid noise gun. <laughs> Thank God no local doctor... Fate of dis disappearance was traced in a home of city butte where bureau, bureau agent discovered a translocative light switch accord bureau agents arrived at home for a local celebrity located blank which had been connected to a total of blank dis disappearance in the area agents found no one inside while searching the closet agent pulled the light switch cord disappeared from view another agent was selected to pull the cord in order to replicate the event he disappeared as well both agents were discovered at the oldest house blank, blank days later, found in a sealed room by rangers exploring a new area of the house. When it says rangers, oh, it's rangers of the uh, the house. See, those rangers that are the hiss, they've taken over those bodies. That's, they're just like people in this house that they've taken over and possessed. And they're like, that's okay, that's what it is. Because I remember reading about different types of enemies, rangers and the ones that levitate. And there's one more, the ones with the shields. So this light switch cord in the Butte's home closet disappeared during the incident. So if we find this cord, it allows us to, uh, I guess, disappear and teleport, I guess. Take this down. The situation in Cuba. The hotline can't he, be far he even now. he even said like take this down. So why is he upset when he's like you're still recording this? Like, yeah, <laughs> like he told me to. Let's see if I got get a, a point for this. Like it, it will say in blue hit a point acquired or something. No, not this time. It said like right here, point acquired last time when I looked back on it. I think it's because it was a hidden area. All right, launch. Energy cost. So I wonder if you can stack these. I bet you can. Yeah, you can probably stack them up. Whenever I want to, I'll start selling some stuff. I'll get to the point where I'll start selling stuff I know I don't like using or whatever. Hotline ch I love when you go to a new area and it's like hotline chamber like that. Alright. I need to do that. Crap. Which one was it? I totally didn't see what it was either, guys. Did you? I think it was this one. No. I don't know. It's 
another reason I don't like F and G right beside each other because I'll press the one right beside it and get it to exit. Crap. I have no idea which one it was. Alright, it's not this one. I think it's correspondence if anywhere. It could be here as well, but I don't think it's this one. Because these are like a little bit rarer to get. So it's probably correspondence. And let's see, let's just pick the one we... It was a pretty long letter like this, but it wasn't that one. Let's go from the bottom up. I remember that part. I remember this one. This one I don't remember. Nope, I do remember that. I remember that as well. Maybe that one. Okay, I guess that's it. Wait. I wish it told you like where you got it from. That'd be nice. So you can actually press enter to zoom in as well. I'll do that from now on. Dang. Trench, trench, custodian, trench, trench. Okay, so two people have access. That's it. To the hotline security log. Just two people. Take that back three. It's two different custodians. Wow, actually, it's... Okay, we gotta look at Carol Bishop. That's the last person who did it. Mm-hmm. Whoever Carol Bishop is, is very, very, um... What's the word? Uh, uh, suspicious because she was the last one. She's the first time on that list and it was the last one seeing it whenever it happened. Whatever it was that happened. The Ocean View Motel and Strange. Dream logic. The light switch cord. The door marked with the black pyramid. Okay, so we pull this cord, we're going to disappear for a while probably. Is this still our mission? Yep. All right, I bet we go to that. Let's see what happens. Ah, there's the phone right there. Oh God. Notice. The law of three applies. Crap, what's the, oh, that's what the guy was talking about, Ocean View. Let's go back for a second. Did it change this? I bet it did. still the same so what was the law of three again I actually do forget fatal psychic trauma two it actually lets you go off it says stand here but have we been here before law three this is the Ocean View Hotel. I've stayed at a lot of roadside motels across the country. On the road, on the run, under the radar. This feels like all of them. Like something recognized from a dream.
I can't shoot or do anything right now, so. Hello? Anyone here? Hello? Serial killer is going to be right behind that door waiting to kill me. Watch. What he, what what uh what's his name was saying? be something I got to use this key for wait in fact I don't really have an inventory per se so I don't know if I can see it let's uh maybe I maybe I gotta go back and I probably got a janitor there's a janitor room right there so maybe we oh here we go this is what we gotta use it for that's why it gave us that opportunity to open it before because that's where I wanted us to go Pretty cool, actually. That's creepy. Had the shadow right there and everything. What's going to happen now, I wonder. Maybe I should do it three times again. Hold on. I think I should. Nothing's going to change unless I did it three times. Guaranteed. Let's just do it three times. Right? Uh, I thought that door opened up. No, I, I, let's do it three times. Two. Yep, I was right. You gotta do it three times. Alright, now we are here. It's about to happen. Alright, this is... What we came to do. This is the mission. What's about to happen? <laughs> Directors can call the board, huh? Complete the astral plane challenge. Okay, so maybe after every mission we get like to do, we gotta do like a challenge. Maybe I don't know. Will allow you to contact extra dimensional entities. All right. Not sure what this is.
Wherever it is, we gotta go. I think I hit with a rock. Well done, dial director. You can contact us. So we can contact them. We expect compulsive weekly call it compulsive. All right. So well, we can make phone calls and maybe ask them questions possibly. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line Wait, to that's the him. astral plane and the board. That's Darling himself. And my hypothesis is under the right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Hmm. Hey, we can talk to Darling. If he's, you know. A director needs a team. My management team. These people know the secrets of the Bureau as well as I do. Some even better. Darling, Tomasi, Salvador, Marshall. Marshall especially my head of operations she sees right through me she knows I don't like relying on people the only person you should fail is yourself ETA baby but things change when you become director meaning you gotta rely on other people whoa speak with Emily I can reach Trench. Well, listen to him. Hotline he control points. Hotline. Echo. An echo with important info. Okay, I was Emily. Emily? Emily's the one. That's Marshall, right? Ain't there? That's her last name, Emily, right? Or uh, Emily Marshall? All right, hotline. Containment procedure. Object of power. It should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is 1960s era red. Bake light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of none known purpose. Phone weighs blank. Objects allows the director to communicate with blank if used by anyone other than the director. Object will will cause lethal death. I guess the object is currently bound into director trench. Not anymore. It's not. Or I guess bound. I mean, I guess you can call trench. I don't know if you can call anybody else though. The object spontaneously manifested in the director's office placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including, but its origins remain unknown. Okay. Ring, ring. It's Dr. Darling calling. In 1978, a comms department intern heard the hotline ring and picked it up. She died. Going against every safety protocol in the manual. She never recovered. And the handful of witnesses required extensive memory repression therapy. Ooh. It is a phone. It's an object of power. It doesn't connect to any typical network. A direct line to the astral plane and the board. And my hypothesis is... We already heard the this. right conditions to other planes of existence as well. Our very own Ouija board. Mm -hmm. Only the director can answer it safely, and what he hears is kept classified. What she hears. I'm the director now. At least I'm the sub. Maybe not the substitute director, but uh, in uh, what's the word? Um, interim director at the, at the at the very least so i got the qualifications and i won't die if i pick it up and do it we've already seen this right this is the i wish you could i can hear the hotline ringing in my dreams maybe not i haven't heard ringing, this yet ringing so loud i can't hear the voice i'm straining to understand why don't i pick up it's a secure line of communication with the board they would tell me what i need to know do i fear their answers would they have warned me of this threat? I didn't see it coming. The traitor in our midst. A conspiracy plotted right behind me. Mm. 
I can't trust anyone. So he knows something. I must assume he knows there's someone in, in the board feeling. or the hotline is the only channel I can trust. Find it, control it. The rule and the ritual with objects of power. He knows there's the traitor. So he was very, very, you know, adamant about reaching the hotline. I don't know if he ever made it. Game. Why does it say bureau slash game? Something's coming. The whispers growing louder. The worst winter storm in bureau history. I don't know why this isn't unread yet. Our we got like five or six of these hotlines. Darling is his, uh, made a okay. mistake all those years ago. That thing he studies is putting us all in danger. It's my duty as director to keep the Bureau safe. It'll be difficult. What's done can't be undone. There's no easy fix. Magical thinking is a requirement for survival. Pain and suffering are mandatory. Uh. To change things, you have to break yourself. I don't know if I have the strength. I'm old and weak. I'm afraid. I can see my hands trembling. I'm losing control. Yep. He's not in good shape, that's for sure. I think I've heard this one already. It took us a long time to learn Maybe not. to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the old. Because we got like five of these. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. Okay. It's my duty as the director to wipe Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house. At my home. I'll damn well do it here. Let's see where Frank's Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. No one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the firebricks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Mm. So he is actually, you know, he, he's having trouble trusting people. Have you heard this one yet? A director needs a team. Okay, we've, My management team. we've done this one. The 
these people know the secrets of the bureau as well as oh, oh wait people no. react strongly when i tell them about you is it too soon to tell emily she might be able to help Let's go back because we still haven't heard everything yet. Oh wow, this is actually a whole new category too. Just not realize that. So we did that one, that one, that one. But that's one. The Ocean View Motel and Casino. Yeah, haven't done this yet. Familiar friend to me. I stayed in countless motels like it while investigating AWEs across the country. Back in my field agent days. Those roadside motels all bleed together like a dream. Same and not the same. Anywhere and nowhere. The ocean view operates on dream logic, and the light switch cord leaks out to be found in the most unexpected places, and sometimes successfully encouraged to appear and act as a convenient lock to keep out those not trained dreamscape navigation even bureau veterans can only find one key in the motel the key that opens the door marked with the inverted black pyramid the rest the many other doors are still mysteries to us we're all merely guests there even the board okay sometimes i need to visit just to breathe easier for a while it beats the numb, sterile apartment I spend my nights in, insulated from everything but myself. I guess that's where the whiskey comes in. All right. There's another one. I think this may be the last one. Dictatorship or directorship? No, I think we did this one. Got him now. I can hear the hotline ringing. Yep. Okay, so there we go. We're ready to go now. So now we can fast travel back to the board or central executive if we want to. I'm not going to because I need to go back and <clears throat> look at some things. Like if I come across the door with my key card, because there's certain things I need to do. Actually, it might be better. Wait, where is this going to? Director's office. I, I never went this way. Ah, interesting. Perfect. To all executive staff, I know there is some concern regarding our operations exceeding the annual budget. So long as we operate within the oldest house, we are obscured from scrutiny in many respects. If our budget demands are not exorbitant, exorbitant to the point of drawing attention, then they will be granted by the U.S. Treasury without question. The FBC is just another line in another spreadsheet that some lowly accountant won't even notice. Their eyes will skip over us as if we weren't there. The nature of the oldest house allows us certain freedoms on how we operate. Our being here is no accident. Regards, Zechariah Trench, director of the bureau. Okay. There's I am. Is that Dennis Larry? That looks like Dennis Larry. Even though it may not be. <laughs> There's the
Let's see if we can fly. Oh, like this door right here is perfect example. Should have access to it now. Yep. Oh, look at all the film. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Sorry, sorry. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Mrs. Potts, I regret to inform you that your son, Graham Potts, was killed in active duty this past week. While on details surrounding his death are classified, I'm honored to tell you that he died in the service of this country. You can be proud of his courage in the face of danger and his commitment to protecting our nation against enemies. He will be remembered by his comrades and colleagues. I sincerely regret the pain this message will bring you. Take some solace in knowing that his sacrifice helped protect the country he loved so much. His effects will be returned to you with all speed. Sincerely yours, Howard J. Murray, Deputy Chief of Communications. All right, shatter recoil efficiency. Shatter. Uh, damage again. Oh, wait, what? Oh, it won't let me get it. But what does it do, though? It won't even tell you what it does, I don't think. A oh, recoil six. That's fair. Atta boy. Take your films and shove it. Nothing here. That's pretty satisfying to do that. That's fun to do right there. Can I actually use it? Nice. Oh, wow, that took everything out. Whoa, I don't expect that. That is so much fun to do, guys. You guys don't have any idea. Like, that's really fun. This is a central executive. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in here. We've looked and uh, truth be told, I mean, we will look here again, but shouldn't be anything here. Yeah, we've already been in here. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep shooting those guys out of the air just because why not? Wow, 
Wait. Why can't I use my melee? I'm not even joking. Oh wait, you can't. Oh, for some reason you can't use your melee or your gun in here. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's move on. I'm tired of like, uh, we need to like kind of. Oh, these guys are actually real people. Okay. Oh, I forgot about our fast travel. We could have used that, but we actually went the other way. So we didn't get a chance to, because we went by the director's office. It, I mean, we need to find more checkpoints. What was we going? Oh yeah, speak with them. Jesse, did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms? The I don't know if I trust this chick. Uh, she knows a lot though. You made it. I'm glad. Emily, let's talk. Of course. Now. I got the hotline. I can make out what Chunk is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team, people who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling, Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. And Marshall? Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex-CIA. She took her rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. Okay. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. Yeah, that just means we gotta go the long Maybe way around. Past one lockdown. Maybe I can find the way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training, in this extreme situation you are doing phenomenally well and all that and the hiss can't seem to affect you i mean i would love to run some tests on you if you agree that is not right now we could find out something that would help us tests i don't know she might find out about you but i wouldn't mind understanding more myself okay if you think it will help Great. I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance. Wow, well, she's trying to the keep me a secret. The sooner I reach this override. Why are you trying to keep me a secret? Come on. Uh, destroyed all the PCs. All right, she's on the hotline right now. The janitor. Remember that janitor from before? What do you say at the beginning of the game? I forgot. Something about an axe. Watch him be like, oh, wait. Remember the custodian on the uh, paperwork? I just realized that there was a lady on the, on the list. I forgot about that. It was the first time her name appeared on it and she was the last one. We'll have to look at the paperwork again. Wow, what's going on here? It's a big hive looking thing, isn't it? Four ability points received. Okay, what can I do with the ability points? Upgrade and unlock new abilities from your nearest control point. Okay, so maybe I can actually do something now. Board countermeasures are now. Let me craft it. Okay, weapon forms and mods can now be. Okay. Gotcha. Hi, Jesse. All right. So same thing as before. Thanks, Emily. I don't know if they already I'm ran sure the test. Maybe they ran the test, and that's why we're able Just to do Can the upgrades. Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? So 
Someone's singing. I don't hear anything. Singing. It sounds like it's coming from the elevator. Oh, she is hearing something interesting. A lot of these questions could be answered by obtaining a live specimen. Here? We don't have the so now we got the ability to do stuff. Okay, astral construct. What does that mean? Board countermeasures. What does this mean? Okay, so these are like daily things, I think. Uh, daily uh, missions kind of thing. Surge mode. Use surge. Okay. I don't have any of these yet. So it tells you the reward too, but can you only get one at a time? I don't know. We'll come back to that. Astral Construct. Oh wow, I barely have enough to shatter. Shatter has a high stopping power with the scatter shot that devastating group enemies at close range. Okay. Okay, so basically, this is kind of like a shotgun, is what it sounds like. And I have just enough. Okay, so you need memory, not only points for the source. Wait, I need 20 of these? No way. So that means I can't. No way, I do have enough. I got 20 of these, I got 8 of these, I see. I, okay, I was like, man, I don't have enough. I barely have enough source. But it's worth it, so we'll construct it. Mainly because... Oh, you can, oh, you can actually refresh them. Cool. Construct a weapon, a, a random weapon mod common. So these are going to be common. I don't know if that's worth it. Same thing with these. I think leveling up your weapon is probably the best thing to do, you know? Oh, wrong thing. I don't have enough money. I knew I did. I just want to see if it would do it or not. I think these are level one mods, maybe. <laughs> so right now. Ooh, I bet I need points for this too, don't know. Let's see. Hmm. Right. So I think health is going to be like a kind of go-to for us. You can't go wrong with it. How many points do I have? I got five. I think the best way to getting points, as far as I know, is to uh, do missions. Um, Energy, melee, launch. Wait, all these are the same, right? Yeah, okay. This is actually easy then. Melee. I don't need melee as much. Launch is actually very, very important. Launch grenades and rockets back at enemies. Oh, wow. That's pretty dope. Yeah, I'm going to do health for right now. This means you can... That's level 2. That's Okay, that's what the dots mean. Launch 2. Naven tells you. Okay, launch explosives. Large enemies when their health is low. I don't know if that's good or not, but I bet you have to get that to get this. Launch large objects. Yeah, I think health is more important right now. Milestones. Use blank three to unlock additional weapon form. Use blank. What does that mean? Use blank. What does that symbol mean?
So since we have shatter, going to start in shatter mode. Shatter. Unfortunately, we can't. I don't know how many we can accept. And if you abandon it, what happens? I don't know. Kind of curious. I kind of want to abandon it to see, but I'm not going to right now. Wow, look at this. You get a freaking random absolute weapon mod. Like, it's a really rare one. Wow. That's crazy good. This one is just shattered mode. Okay, so we can definitely do that. It doesn't matter where we do it. Oh, so. Wait, what? Okay. Interesting. And the next quest, I didn't mean to do that, but it definitely did. I was going to back out and see if it's still took it but it, it did all right let's go ahead and get one more oh wow okay so it went up oh you got you can reset your abilities you can do respect i think that's what it's called uh for thirty thousand, which is not cheap but i imagine the harder the enemies the more you get so we'll go we'll unlock this one more time wait what did I just say, oh no, so this costs three instead of one. Darn. That sucks. I didn't think about that. I thought it was just going to be one regardless. So. Hmm. Quite interesting. I think I'm going to go health again though. I think it's that important for me. So once you, oh wait, what was that? Okay, additional weapon form slot. Additional personal, mo oh great, additional weapon form. Oh wait, so that means, maybe I'll do energy, maybe, I think I'll save it, I don't know. I think I wanna get the three at least. Cause I just, I don't know, launch would be more important I think in some instances. Weapon form slot. Countermeasure strategy, huh? These countermeasure missions will benefit you. I see. Give your resource rewards is basically dailies. Think about it like that. Mission wise, search for a way into the maintenance sector. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So remember, we got to do a directorial override, which if you read that paper, if you remember before, we can do that, but we can only do it like in certain situations. Go here, weapon form. So let's put on. So you can't put the same one on that you have right here, unfortunately. Let's go with one that's just shatter only, exclusive to shatter, like this one. Shatter has a high soften power with scatter shot that is devastating against group of enemies. That's super good. The re oh, it's only for recoil though. I don't know. Wait. 
Oh, I'm reading the wrong thing. And be nice. Okay, so rate of fire might be pretty good. Projectiles fired. Wow. So this is actually, you know what? I think I'm going to go with this one because it's going to do two more shots. That's super good. Versus uh, the recoil or, yeah, wait. These are the same one. Same exact one. So we can sell, sell it if we wanted to. Let's see what it's like. We need to see what it's like without it now that I think about it. And so we can appreciate when it's, you know what I mean, when it's on there. Oh wow, so I can, how do you uh, not, so that's what it means, it means I can, it means I can carry two weapons at once. Well, that sucked. Good luck. I'm gonna save that. Right. Are we heading again? Mission-wise, let's track this. Search for a way in the maintenance sector. Where is the maintenance sector at? I don't see it. So you can switch by pressing F, huh? Okay, cool. And that's what I was wanting to know. If you use one weapon, does it, it, it doesn't like, it's like using the same, think of it like using the same ammo. I like that. That's fair though. Perfect. I don't know if I like switching with F though, because I don't know. It's, I don't know about that. Okay. Energy. Same thing, but not as good. We'll start selling them here soon, I think. Now let's put on, at the very least, let's put a recoil on. Or a rate of fire, maybe that. That's not, that's not good at all for this. I mean, it's okay. Projectiles fired. I bet this is really good. Yeah, this would be really good. So now, I guess that's it. Unless there's something else. Kind of want to face some enemies right now. Like now.
Dude, what the hell? shot asshole wait did I get that down the shattered thing Let's see. Oh, so oh, I got to go collect. Okay. It's a fun little game. I mean, fun little, uh, what you call it right there. That is a fun, uh, I can't think of the word I'm trying to use here. Uh, it's fun mode shatter. It's not really a gun. It is a gun, but it's, they consider it in this game they say it's a mode i guess or form well it's just shotguns all it is think of it like a shotgun it looks like a pistol but it's a shotgun all right let's go back and uh collect our reward really fast gotta go to the travel point here control point that's what it is yeah i see that So I bet if we go here and collect it, that's how we did it. Yep. Let's hope we get something good, but it's just going to be common. Shatter projectile. It's also going to give us a shatter projectile. I wonder if that's random as far as like getting a shatter mod that we did for the mission. You know what I mean? Because we had to use the the shattered weapon to, to finish it. So that could be something similar too. All right, so now we have, now that we actually finished that mission, wait, so we got that. So now we get a new one. Surge, spin, unfortunately, wait, we got this one. An executive using shattered. Okay, so we accept this one. My question is though, how many can we accept? Let's see, I want to accept one. I just want to see... I don't know if I want to accept another one, but we're going to. Oh, wow. I can, I just, I just totally got rid of that. Oh, cool. And it replaced it with, uh, with headshots. Oh, sweet. This is perfect. Head brain shots is weak. So we can actually do this. Hmm, I wonder how many you can get together. So let's go ahead and accept this one. Can we accept all of them? I'm just curious here. I don't want to get rid of that one because that's a really good reward. So we can get three. Can we abandon it again? We can. Huh. Charge. Wait. What if? I think I just realized something. It takes away the one. So if you abandon this one, let me see. Let's abandon this one really fast. Oh, that's a level two. Crap. Um. Whatever. We're still going to.
I'm about to find out because like if I abandon this one, will it take this one away as well? Because it's going upwards. Uh kill enemies in the executive sector. Hmm. Must be protected. What do you mean protected? I'm not sure what that means. Executive sector. Where is that at? Oh. No hell's range. All right, so I think I get it now. If you look at the thing right here, it says executive or it says executive sector. I was looking for like a random or a random, like I was looking for mail, like look at mail room or cafeteria. I thought it was going to be like that, but this whole area, this whole map is a sector is executive sector. If you look in the bottom top of the left right there, it's the entire map. So, and the next mission is to search a way into the maintenance sector, which is a whole new map itself. So I was wondering if it was going to be, this was the entire map of the game. So let's accept this. Oh wow, this changed up too. So this actually moved around a little bit. All right. So now all we have to do is kill enemies. Hmm. I kind of want this so badly. If I can get charged, that'd be awesome. And both of those are freaking like really good mods. It's gonna be a while before we get this though. Don't get me wrong, I want it, but. I'm going to just abandon it. Or at least abandon this one. What does that mean? What will you do when he's not awake? What? I don't get why it says that. Oh, you can only get three at a time. So that's actually perfect. That's perfect. So now I can actually... Not worry about it now. All right, now what? Search for a way. Is there? A, I mean, do we fast travel? Is that what it is? I mean, I'm not sure where to go actually, because it says right here. I just fast traveled here. I guess you can do that. All right. Go upstairs. Oh wow, I missed this. I'm glad I came back. Look at that. And I got a mod to go with it. Exclusive to shatter. So shatter projectile choke. So it's a spread, huh? I think I've been here either. Can't do anything in here, so. Listen, I know you can't control building shifts, but the executive level restroom has been missing for weeks now. I worked my ass off in the Isla Bomb bad station for three years. I earned the right to have a nice workplace shitter. If you can't bring it back, at least find out where it went. <laughs> Rodriguez. Okay, that's fucking hilarious. Old Rodriguez wants to be able to take a dump in peace. Or at least have a nice boo boo. Accuracy boost. Uh, this one is for, I think, I guess every one of them, right? Yeah, it doesn't say exclusive. Uh, that's nice. So, I died like four times. I lost about 300. One time I lost 600 when I died on my own. 
And so, my point is though, I lost about, probably close to about 1,500, 2,000 points. Man, there's so many files here. So, uh, the oldest house limitations uh, imposes certain limitations on the Bureau, but by far the most restrictive is the inability to use certain technological instruments. The oldest house does not allow devices that receive or emit any signal, like no smart devices, huh? Uh, waves are only transmittable signals in the oldest house radio. Okay. Even those are unreliable at the power. Collective unconscious is taken into account. It could be certain pieces of the technology are too new in the culture of the oldest house. Them similarity, uh, similar, similarly, these items have not been known to become receptacles for altered statuses. Status Techno techno technology may be moving at too fast of a pace for the blank to occur. Modern technology tends to disappear. I wonder why it's blacked out and break here, sometimes quite violent, violently. Agents have been injured by cell phones exploding in their pockets while entering the oldest house. So that's why I said something about smart, uh, no smartphones, essentially. Where was that list at for? There's a smartwatch, anything smart, yeah. When it says inside the bureau, it means the oldest house is what it means. And I don't get this though. Carol Bishop. That's for the hotline now. Again, I don't know. I haven't been up here at all, so. This is the director's office, huh? We'll try this out. So this will have us longer range is what it will be. I know we've been here before. We'll head back. Cause there's a few rooms I haven't been in yet. Going this way. Oh, see we can't shoot now. I don't think we've been here. Yep. Wow, 31. That's that's uncommon. Okay, so okay, that's how you read it right there. So all these are common. This is uncommon. Green two. That's pretty good actually. That's the 31's really good, man. Okay. Collective unconscious. Collective unconscious is defined as a form of unconscious. 
that is shared in all human minds. From this arises unconscious knowledge linking us through ancestral heritage. See, uh, through his collective unconscious, we are unknowingly attribute attribute a series of images and archetypes to elements of our lives. These archetypes are never fixed, but shift and change in tandem with our species and cultures. This internal belief in the power of images shared by a massive population and the creation of altered items and objects of power, the sheer amount of blank is exuded, is attracted to the best representation of that image imbuing a single object with massive amounts of theoretically Places of power could likewise likewise be formed by the simple power of sustained collective beliefs. All right. I think we may have made a whole. That's no, just radio. There might be something in here though. That's just a radio. Is that it? Executive Affairs. Okay. I think we've been here already, too. This is maybe the first place we... Yeah, this is where we found... Oh, girl, I want to say. So cool. Alright. says the what you call it but the truth is I didn't see anything there let's go back maybe there's something we're missing let's go back there we gotta find a way to the maintenance sector somehow wait oh wait this is actually a door we can go through and since it's, 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 it's red, that means we haven't been through it yet. So keep that in mind. And another file, of course. Objects of power are unique in their capability, capacity to grant certain individuals paranatural abilities. We call these para utilitarians. The potency of these abilities depends on the paralitarian. Using the blank object of power as an example of some paralitarians, can achieve throw distance while others are only capable of very little. No, it just depends on the person. What exactly determines an individual paranatural competence is unknown, but it's largely believed that some blank exists within the body and that all muscles can be exercised. To continue my analysis, I have officially requested access to Northmore's records. Considering he is the most accomplished paralitarian the Bureau has ever seen, who was also a director before, uh, Tredge, or whatever his name was, trench uh darling is still considering this request so darling has a lot of power himself and he's not a director I'm gonna change that to C. I'm tired of pressing. G is just not something I'm into pressing. It feels funny to press it. And not a fan of doing it. Or a a maybe X. X might be the better play. I don't know. X or C, either one of them is better than this. And so. Let's see, do I have? I don't think I have it for either, either one of them. Uh -huh. Let's 
could do that. See his collectibles, I suppose. Loadout wise. Does it pause the game when you do loadout? I actually don't know. Or don't remember. I got an idea. Do the. I got a wonderful idea. Maybe I should just use tab and be done with it. Oh no 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 never mind no that's not for that that's for loadout never mind I'm thinking of something else. All right I think I got it set now. It does pause it though, that's, that's, that's really nice. I don't think I could ever get away from using this ma uh, this mouse again. It's just too good. It's just too good. Alright, so... Hmm. Search away. How are we gonna get in there, guys? Let's see. Oh wow! I didn't see this. This is new. Initials and impressions. Initial encounters. Uh, the his threat part one. With the entity known as the Hiss, have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt control points, altered items, and even humans radically changing their behavior. Curiously, any person wearing the HRA device that Dr. Dar Dr. Darling has disrupted, uh, distributed over the past weeks have not been affected by this corruption. Only known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses inherent immunity to the Hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupted by her behavior so in contrast to that of other hiss that has dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Miss Hayden Faden herself. She's able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. We tested this ability on hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seems to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physio physiology becomes a reliant of the hiss. On the hiss, more, more work to be done. Refer to file blank for full report. Yeah. All right. So I mean, can we go? Maybe we have to do this. See, this is executive though. We need to go to, um, I don't know how to get there, guys. There's a power plan is largely confidential. No use guessing the hisses motives. If I don't know what to do. Kind of energy you can use. What do you mean? It has to be a fusion reactor. There's no other way to create that kind of energy. We found enemies this way, so let's go this way. I mean, that's really the best. Best thing I got right now. What's my mission? Uh, I gotta kill people. Shatter, headshots, kill enemies. Okay.
getting these headshots or not. Okay. Oh, wait, no. I got four of them. That, that kind of sucks. It does have to be with Shatter, right? Oh, no, I don't either. Son of a gun. Okay, hold up. With headshot. Oh, man, damn. All right. Well, how do you uh, switch again? I actually don't know how to switch. I thought it was F, but, um... Oh, you gotta press it. Okay. We must be on the right track because, like, like I said, we... We're getting enemies when we, when we go this way, so it kind of makes sense, you know? Alright, what was our mission? Uh, we gotta do... We already did this one. We need two more headshots. Oh wow, you can find Wow, so you can find something in there. Oh wow, and you do that, guess what? When you switch weapons, really what you're doing is just switching weapons right here. I don't like that. Cause I honestly thought it was to put it down, but it looks like it's because you're switching weapons is when you're in launch mode. Look. See the it changes to shotgun kind of unfortunate but it's pretty cool though that the, in the bathroom there's actually something you can find so I have to look at if I come across the bathroom I have to go in there now so there could be something worthwhile so that's going towards dead letters which laggy right now what the heck right 
Right in the butt. Spawn the corners 5 p.m. cafeteria. Unless you, JD Brooks, everyone should get their reviews to me by Monday before lunch so I can generate some conversation starters before the meeting. Happy Penny Bartwell. I feel like I read that before. Maybe it was just, oh, what's this? Uh -huh. Okay, that's creepy. Threshold kids. my goldfish ever again that was very creepy here we go oh crap get down look game stop lagging for me I don't have to get headshots anymore, do I? Where was the, uh, let's see. We just got to do kills, I think, now, don't we?
the game doing this all of a sudden, man? Very laggy. What did we get? I saw one something we got. I think it always puts the new ones right here. Yeah, new because I got it like that, so oh crap, I didn't see, I shouldn't have done that. I think it's still this one. Uh weapon dam I know. Uh exclusive. No, we got wait, what do we got? This is eight percent and this is uh six percent. Alright. Not very good at all. All right, so let's go and uh, make sure we got everything. Here. Still miss something. All right, two men make us our own contact contacted by the past presidents of the U.S. of the America of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand the, the him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that, okay. I have a great debt have great dead men telling me about the past and present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. You're in yours in earnest. James Bartholomew. Bartholomew. Or that name be used before in like shows. Bartholomew. Bartholomew. much does it then and where was oh yeah up here we can get the uh, we can get new uh, things done and collect our our stuff so I'm thinking I just don't understand well sector elevator wait maybe it's right there what if it's right here in front of me? And I, I mean, it's got to be right. It's got to be because it's yellow. So that's why I was like, we got to go back. It's right here. It just opened up for me and I just did, didn't see it, I guess. That's crazy. I, I, I swear I looked everywhere or I felt like I did, but yeah, I did miss this. Who's that? That's weird. Elevated music. I like it. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. Oh, wow. It's him again. Dude, I got some. Uh, oh, gosh. Uh oh. So there's a consecutive kill boost mod. That'd be pretty good, I think. Uh, 
Come on. Or something big must happen because this is taking forever to load up, isn't it? Here we are. The maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Ati. Does name Ati? Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. Maybe it was Ati. Oh, so now you it felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? You trying to take credit away from me, really? Of all people, you're trying to take credit away from me. How dare you? How dare you? Shame on you. All right. Let's go. Oh, wow. Look at that. Totally different map layout. And there's a bunch of stuff that we haven't been to yet. Mm, okay. And the only thing we got to do now is, I don't understand the hiss guards, but that's fine. And see, enemy, there's a difference between enemies and, the, uh, I guess, hiss guards. Go figure that out. And last but not least, are, do we have the best assets for our loadout here? Instead of, uh, maybe this would be better. The game is uh, kind of gone to shit. It's kind of lagging a little bit here. If it keeps doing it, we'll uh, change the settings. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Go to display here and change some things, but they really don't want to have to do that. So, um, Try this. Try to board a list and see how that goes. Only different layout down here, isn't it? I like it. Like. That's freaking hilarious that it lets you go through the side like that. All right, great. Wait, oh wait. So I think it was just a map. Oh no, it wasn't, okay. I just pressed the wrong button. Unless you were viewed by Captain Lopez, these days most YA novels intertwine the coming of age story with either a contrived dysto dysto dystopian setting or tragic romance unless you manage to do both. In the story, the protagonist and her love interest search for a cure virus called The Fix, which is simultaneously killing her and spreading her across the whole world. To find the cure, they go on expeditions into dangerous uncharted territories the people all live in well walled cities 
now become dystopian future along with the way they fall in love. I liked how we never got to know if the fix was actually ever actually fixed. The ending was bold, especially for YA, the main character succumbs to the fix. I don't know if these are old books or not. She's so close to the cure. Commands her love interest to go on and save the world. She knows this is the end for her and the job can still get done. She dies out in the unknown, alone, surrounded by danger, but never loses sight of the goal. That's a good soldier's death. I'll give it a three out of five. I feel most of the teenage angst is a little lost on me, but I recommend it to my brother's kids. All right, I recommend not doing that again. I'm not sure what the book review has anything to do with the game. Zombie. When you start launching things, that's when you have the issue. NSC control room. Yeah, I gotta admit, man, like I'm having issues with uh, the settings here, so we may just... I don't know. May need to just go ahead end it here in fact i think this is a really good stopping point we'll go ahead we've been on for quite some time and uh we'll go ahead and end it here guys because uh our videos our time's kind of running are running low with the video anyways so we'll end it here and when we come back we'll find Ati the janitor the guy who loves to sing songs and like listen to cds and do that while cleaning uh because he's got his headset in so that's what we'll do when we come back and uh, we didn't get a lot done this video because we literally were doing like side missions and stuff and we also got kind of sidetracked and lost but we'll have it set it up for the next time we did you know do something get some things done but we'll be set it up next time to be able to do a lot and now we're in a whole new area where we can actually do more things so we'll be prepared for that now we know what we're doing so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys did please do hit the like and subscribe button hit that bell icon and don't miss out on future content for the control game uh until next time guys i'm grumpy panda i'll be signing off and i'll see you guys in the next video take care